But let's move on to Everton. Yesterday, we saw them pick up their first win of the season, 3-1 at Brentford. But what about the takeover? What's the very latest? Is it happening and when? <laughs> Massive result that, Rebecca, for Everton at a critical time because they're in a perilous financial situation. I revealed last week that 777, the American investment firm, have loaned Everton a sizable amount of money. It's into the tens of millions. And the purpose of it is to help with short-term working capital and also their stadium build. Now, Premier League rules mean that they cannot uh, inject equity at this point in time until and unless that takeover you talk about is improved. But it will help with their acute financial need immediately. And that is very important to them. These are concerning times at Everton. But 777 uh, did visit the club last week. They had personnel on the ground. They're going to have a continuous dialogue. They're going to lend the expertise from their multi-club model to Everton. They'll take an observer seat on the board. They back Sean Dyche as manager, Kevin Thelwell as director of football. They like the job they're doing and they plan to stick with them. They're also going to meet with supporters group with groups with the um, uh, shareholders association as well but let's not get away from the big sit situation here that's whether they will get approval from the premier league from the fa and from the financial conduct authority because many of our audiences will be reading about their controversial and perhaps colorful black background well this is going to be a real test of the beefed up Premier League owners and directors test at a time when the British government is looking at English football. They don't believe it can regulate itself and they're bringing in an independent regulator. So will this go through? Well, 777 have got a number of clubs in seven countries. They've been given licenses for all of those. So therefore, they will feel pretty bullish about their chances of completing this Everton deal. And I think if they don't get it, you've got to ask who is going to come in and take over from Farhad Mashiri because he's agreed this deal. He's turned down all other options. I don't think there are other investors queuing up and they could face real trouble. So is it triple seven or bust? We'll have to wait and see what the Premier League and the other authorities are going to deem acceptable or not. And that's going to happen in the months ahead. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.